In today's video, we're gonna be covering the easiest way that you can get started selling on TikTok Shop. Now, TikTok Shop is one of the biggest platforms right now to start selling on, whether you're drop shipping or just selling some stuff that you have extra laying around or you're selling your own products for your own business. TikTok Shop right now is making people legitimately millionaires. There's massive amounts of potential on there. And today we're covering everything that you need in the easiest, most efficient way to get started. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we need to do in order to get started is run over to the seller center over at TikTok. Now on here, you're gonna need to sign up. So the first thing we're gonna do is sign up with either a phone number or email. Now you also have the option to sign up with your TikTok account but I highly suggest that you don't do that. Every single time that I have signed up on here with my TikTok account, I actually have a few seller accounts for a TikTok shop, but each time that I would sign up using my TikTok account, it's always a problem. Whenever I sign out and then I try to sign back in with either the same account or a different account, it starts to take me to a different account and I don't know, it just starts to get really weird. And then ultimately what I need to do is essentially sign in using the email instead of my TikTok account. So it's just a huge mess. So my suggestion to you is just, go ahead and sign up with either your phone number or an email. In this case, we're gonna be using an email. So let's just go ahead and put that on here. Then let's go ahead and continue. You're gonna to have to do some of these little captchas like we always do for security purposes. And then we're gonna get a code. And once we have the code in there, we're just gonna to have to go ahead and set up a password. All right, so now it's asking me, welcome to the United States site, start selling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on start selling here. And next we need to choose what type of business we are. So are we a business or are we gonna be selling on behalf of ourselves? The majority of us, just letting you know right off the bat, the majority of us are gonna be under individual. Some of us could be under sole proprietorship. Some of us, even less of us, could be under corporation. But for the most part, the majority of you out there, myself included, especially people that are just getting started, you're gonna be under individual. If you're selling in the US, this means you're gonna sign up using your social security. So let's go ahead and click on next. Now, the first thing it's gonna ask us is to upload a form of ID. This can either be a US passport or it can be a driver's license or a state ID. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me that they get denied and then they get denied over and over again. But eventually they actually just randomly get accepted. So it really depends sometimes, I guess it could depend on whether somebody's manually reviewing it or if you took a picture wrong, maybe you need to take it at a different angle. So if you get denied a few times, take the pictures again, scan the documents again, and then keep applying a couple of times. Chances are you're eventually gonna get accepted. So now once you go through that registration process, the next thing you need to do is set up your shop information. So what's gonna be your shop name? Now your shop name can be the same name as your actual TikTok account, but I, I don't know, I wouldn't suggest you do that. I suggest you give your shop name something unique. Yeah, make it relatable to your TikTok account, but I don't know, try to keep it unique. At the end of the day, it's really up to you. What I'm gonna put here is simply just Mario's Handmade Goods, wink because you know we're not really gonna be doing much handmade stuff. Now, primary product, what am I gonna be selling primarily? So most of us that are watching this video are gonna end up being drop shippers. So it's really gonna be just a little bit of everything, but there's other people who aren't going to be doing that. There's other people who are gonna be selling their own merchandise. So it could be handcrafted goods. It could be things like mugs, kitchenware. So just choose whatever's most relevant to what you're actually gonna be selling. In my case, I'm gonna go with home supplies because I have an idea for a home decor shop that I've been thinking about. So aside from that, we need to go ahead and then put in a phone number. Now, once we verify our phone number, the next thing is to verify our information. Once we verify that, then we're taken to this screen. We have officially signed up for TikTok shop. Now what? Once we go through those steps, the next thing we need to do is what TikTok actually lays out for us. So TikTok lays out a little guide for us that we need to follow in order to actually get started selling. The first thing we need to do is actually register our business, which is what we just did. So that's already out of the way. Now we just need to get approved. Number two is gonna be to add our tax information. So let's go ahead and jump in there. Now, once we're on here, the next thing we're gonna do is simply just verify what we see on screen. So we're gonna verify our name. Are we doing business as a different name? I'm not in this case. Make sure your email's okay, your address, and what kind of business do you have? Is it an individual or is it a non-individual or entity? Well, like I said at the beginning, most of us, majority of us, is gonna be individual. So let's go ahead and choose that. Then we just have to go ahead and fill out the rest. What is our federal tax classification? Do we, are we a trust or an estate? 
most likely we're not we're just going to be an individual now our taxpayer identification number which is also going to be your social security number you did this earlier but tiktok requires you to do it again so once we do this all we have to do is just make sure we go ahead and submit once we submit and confirm then we're taken back to our checklist and now the next thing we need to do is set up our shipping and return warehouses all right so it looks like my documents were actually declined i'm not sure why i probably uploaded the wrong one but i'll take care of that in a little bit but for now let's just continue so the next thing we need to do is like i said set up our shipping and return warehouses but i don't have a warehouse so what what do i do well it's not literally talking about a warehouse so let's go ahead and click on set up shipping that's really all we have to do we're just going to set up our shipping so on here this is where it's going to have your ship from address so where are your items going to be shipping from are they going to be shipping from your house are they going to be shipping from your warehouse if you have one your storage what address is going to be fulfilling these now if you're a drop shipper like most of us that are probably watching this video then don't worry because honestly this part doesn't really matter too much you can go ahead and use your own address or if you don't want to use that, you can sign up for something like a virtual address. So once we have all of that filled out, then we're going to have this screen that tells us that we're right now signed up for USPS. We can sign up if we want for UPS and FedEx, but honestly, we don't need to do any of that stuff. But if you are interested, just click on shipping options and you'll be able to do that. Now from here, the next thing it's telling us to do is actually to go add our products. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click go to add product. And now we have to actually upload our product. So what are we going to be selling now when it comes to choosing products to sell on TikTok shop? That's it. You can sell anything on TikTok shop, really. Obviously, anything other than prohibited items like things that are dangerous, medicines, supplements. You can sell supplements, but I don't suggest you go that route just because there's just too much regulation around it. There's too many things that could go wrong. Maybe somebody might have an adverse reaction to those supplements. So it, it's better to just leave that and focus on something that's a bit less dangerous. Some of the biggest niches I've seen on here are definitely hands down pets and kids. Those two videos tend to go absolutely crazy. And when videos start to pick up a lot of traction, then TikTok itself is actually going to be pushing them out even more, especially if they have a product attached to them. But since I chose home supplies at the beginning, I'm going to go with home supplies. So let's just go ahead and upload our first product. Now, one really big thing when it comes to home supplies that is going around TikTok right now, one huge niche that's trending is cooking, specifically cooking at home and things like baking. So making your own dough, baking your own pizza, your own bread, things like that. So this pizza oven is perfect to start advertising on TikTok shop. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to order one of these myself and I'm going to use it and enjoy all of the different pizzas. But aside from that, I'm going to start making a few videos with this pizza oven. It's TikTok. You need to make content in order to make sales. But before I do order it to my house, I'm going to go ahead and upload everything to my TikTok shop. So I'm going to import my product to my TikTok shop. Now, unfortunately, since this entire thing is manual, I'm going to have to go ahead and, you know, save this image, copy over the description, the variations and all that fun stuff. Well, there's not really any variations, but it's still something that's going to start to take a couple minutes. And then if you have to do multiple items or multiple products, then it's just going to take even longer. So unfortunately, right now, you can't automatically import products to your TikTok shop. But don't worry, because as I said earlier, pretty soon, if not, maybe even by the time this video comes out, AutoDS is going to feature full on automatic integration with TikTok shop. So that way, all of your orders can be fulfilled automatically and everything can be done through automation. But until then, we're stuck the old school way. So one second. All right, so I have the images. I went ahead and uploaded those. Now we need a product name. So let's just do something quick and easy. Let's do, let's just do what it says there. A Piazzano pizza oven. I have no idea if I said that right or wrong. Category. So this is going to be under kitchenware. Uh, I would consider it bakeware since we are baking pizzas, baking tins and molds, baking sets, oven mitts, baking trays, decoration tools. Uh, let's go ahead and choose... So if we just type in oven, then it's going to give us a few different options. It's not a large appliance, but let's just go with that. All right now the brand, we don't have a brand for this. So let's just go ahead and choose no brand. All of this stuff, all of the different attributes, you can input that if you want. That's ultimately more information for your customers, but I don't have any of this and it's not necessary. So we don't need that. Now, as far as our product description, now our description, we can either write ourselves. If we're not very good at doing this, then we can use something like ChatGPT to be able to create the description for us. Now, once TikTok shop is fully integrated with AutoDS, then we are going to have the option to optimize our titles and our descriptions with AI directly through the AutoDS platform. But until that happens, again, we're still doing things the manual way. So let's just go ahead and do here, product description generator. Luckily, TikTok shop itself also has a generator as well. So let's do a household, easy to use pizza oven. 
Oh, cool. It takes a title, too. The Piazzano Pizza Oven is a perfect addition to any household looking to enjoy homemade pizza with ease. Effortlessly cooked delicious pizza at home. Easy to use and maintain. The pizza oven is perfect. If you want to read this, you can read this right here. But this actually sounds really good. So let's just go ahead and keep that. Video. We don't have a video, but we will have a video once I receive it and I start making a few videos with it. Now, how much are we going to sell this for? Ooh, that's the that's the important part, right? So right now, this one is at $95.96 and their shipping shows to be between April 12th and April 18th. Remember, we need to make sure that our products ship within three days. So we're going to have to go ahead and contact our supplier through this and just make sure that we can at least get a tracking number within three days. Let's sell it at the retail price that they're asking for here, 191. This is just for demonstration purposes only anyway, so 195. I'm probably gonna end up keeping it on there anyway to sell. Quantity, I'm just gonna stick to one for now. The packaging weight. Now this stuff doesn't really matter because what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over our shipping to our own tracking numbers. Now, if you are going to be using your own products, if you have your own stock at home, then you are going to have to fill this out. So you're going to have to put the product weight and the dimensions of the packaging. The reason for this is because TikTok shop actually provides you with the labels if you're doing it yourself. But you also have the option to provide the labels yourself, which is what we're going to end up doing. So here, this doesn't really matter, like I said, so I'm just going to put two and let's do eight by eight by eight. All right, so because of the type of product category that we selected, we're gonna have to upload a certificate of conformity or a declaration of conformity. We don't have any of those. So let's just go ahead and change the category and let's see if we can go around it somehow. So let's do the kitchenware and let's do bakeware again. But this time, let's just go with baking sets. All right, so it's not asking us for that anymore. So let's just go ahead and submit for review and finish. Okay, so since, like I said, my documents are still pending, it's not going to show up here. We're not going to really have anything here, but let's refresh this. And now it's through here. So it's currently reviewing. It's going to say suspended because it's not active. But once the review is done, this is going to say approved and this is going to be green. And this would say active. All of the products need to be approved before actually going live. So after this, the next thing we need to do is go back home and then we have to connect our TikTok account. So for this, all we have to do is simply click on connect. By the way, I was just looking at the tabs with the pizza oven. Touching up on that really fast again, one, one last thing I wanted to mention. One really good supplier to be able to use for TikTok shop is the one I'm actually using in the other video that I talked about, and that's Amazon. Amazon ships everything through Amazon Prime, especially if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS. So that in itself is actually gonna give you a huge help. That will ensure that your products are shipped in a timely manner. You don't have to contact anybody. You don't have to contact the, the supplier to ask them to do quicker shipping. None of that. Products will be shipped on time. So Amazon is a great supplier to be able to use for something like this. So once we go to link our TikTok accounts, then we just click on link official account. And through your TikTok app, you're gonna wanna scan this QR code and approve it. After you're done through there, your account on TikTok, this is really important to note, is going to be converted to a business account. So you're not gonna have access to any of those fun sounds anymore, unfortunately. But you are still gonna have access to a lot of other sounds, a lot of original sounds. And remember, at the end of the day, like I said, TikTok pushes your videos a lot more. You get a nice little organic boost if you have products attached to them. So that really does help out a lot. Now let's talk really quick about our shipping, which is what I mentioned a little bit ago. So let's run over to orders. And then here you have a few different options. So there's the fulfillment options, shipping options, and shipping templates. So let's go over to the shipping options. Remember, this is under the orders tab. Now, TikTok shipping and seller shipping. TikTok shipping is what I mentioned earlier. This is the one where TikTok is going to provide you with a shipping label. So you don't have to purchase it. TikTok's going to do that for you. Then the other one is the seller shipping. This is the one that you're going to be providing the tracking number. And that doesn't just have to be USPS. It can be USPS, FedEx, UPS, and any of the ones that are listed over here. So it's a lot. You can choose from a lot of different logistics. Now let's go ahead and select that. Oh, but we can't because we have to create a template. So let's run over right here where it says shipping templates, and we're going to create a template here. We're going to create a new template and click on OK. Now our template here, we're just gonna name it. I'm gonna name it general because it's just gonna be a general shipping template. I've always only ever had one. And then ship from, we're gonna choose our US pickup warehouse, which is the address that we originally set. Remember how I said, I don't have a warehouse, but you can use any address. This is the address that it's gonna be picked. If you add any more addresses on there, then you're gonna have a few more options here. Then you have to choose your rate model. So is it gonna be weight based or is it gonna be quantity based? Are you gonna ship your items based on the weight of the item or the amounts of items that you're selling? Now, this for us isn't really gonna matter because one thing that I always say is offer free shipping. Give everybody free shipping and just add the cost of the shipping to your products. People love to see free, even though it's not really free. So like I said, again, it doesn't really matter. If it does matter for your business, then go ahead and choose whichever one's best for you. But in my case, 
it's not gonna make a difference. So I'm gonna go with quantity based. Now it's gonna give us a few shipping options. So what are we gonna offer? I'm gonna offer only standard. I don't like offering express because then that just makes everything just a lot more crazier and a lot more chaotic. So once we choose standard shipping, once we check it off, we're gonna have to choose where we're gonna ship. Now in this case, I'm gonna ship across the entire United States, except typically I don't ship to Hawaii or Alaska because for one, it takes way too long to get there. Two, customers end up complaining because of how long it takes to get there. And three, logistics to there is just, it's, it's a pain. Right here where it says delivery region, we're gonna click on edit and choose our regions. Now select all, just straight up select all, except for down here, Hawaii and Alaska. We're not messing with those. Click on save. Our flat rate, are we gonna charge our customers to ship our products? It's gonna be a flat rate of eight bucks. I'm gonna do zero because like I said, I like offering free shipping. And that's it, just click on submit and save. And that's all there is to it. Now we can go back to shipping options. And if we want to provide our own tracking number, then we can go ahead and click on select here and we automatically switch over. Now this video was meant to be a very basic and easy way to get you started selling on TikTok shop. And this has to be the easiest way to set up your store. So I tried to break everything down the easiest possible way to be able to understand. But remember, when you start to get into a few other things, like let's say if you want to start drop shipping on here with full automation, then things can get a little bit more complicated, in which case I highly recommend you check out the how to start drop shipping on TikTok shop video. It's extremely detailed. It's pretty long too. So I take you there step by step through everything you need to know. And trust me, it's worth a watch. Also, aside from that, remember, pretty soon AutoDS is also going to be offering full on integration with TikTok shop. So watch out for that as well. So with that being said, what did you think of this video? What do you think about selling or drop shipping on TikTok shop? Did you find this whole process easy? Was it pretty self-explanatory or are you still having some issues with it? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching once again. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses and I'll catch you all next time.